What's happening gamers? Today I'm going to show you how to auto AFK pumpkin seeds. That's right, you're gonna be able to AFK pumpkin seeds right after this video. So since people are gonna be watching in the future, I better mention that this is a limited time event that lasts between now and November 1st. So this is a Halloween update event in Roblox Islands. And over here you can see it's for the upcoming movie called The Witches that's coming to HBO Max. And I'm going to show you how to auto AFK these limited pumpkin seeds because they are only available at this time. So after this update is out, so once it's gone, you are going to have to trade for these things. You're not gonna be able to go and do what I'm doing now. So after this update goes away, obviously this method will not work. I did not see these bats. I didn't see the bats anymore. Oh, okay, whatever. Let me focus, focus, Stevie, focus. All right, so let's go ahead and go through this portal and head over to the Witch Island. So now we're on the Witch's Island and we're gonna go over in this corner over here where these guys are. So you can see the little skelly guys. Now there's three different types of mobs up here. There's those little pumpkin guys that will explode on you. And then there's this little guy, right? This little skelly. And then there's a big skelly. There's like a big brother. So let me go find one. He might be up here. Yeah. So there's one of the big brothers. Look at, he's way bigger. Oh, well, he's not way bigger, but he's bigger. I don't know if he's like a knight or something. I don't know what, he, what, what is he supposed to, I think he's a knight. He's got like an ax and the other guy's got like a little knife. So he's got an ax. Yeah. He's like a knight. So this guy will actually give you two item drops and then the little one will only give you one. So I'm just going to use my aqua sword here and we're going to kill these dudes. I'm going to show you this guy will only give you one candy. So see one chocolate bar. This one will give you two. So interesting. I mean, it obviously has a lot more health. So he's going to give you a better reward. And um, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to auto FK using one of these weapons. So you can see the other guy gave me two orange candies. The little minion skeleton guys, they will not drop pumpkin seeds. At least I've never had them drop pumpkin seeds. Only the pumpkin guys will, which kind of makes sense, right? Because you're killing a pumpkin, you're going to get a chance for pumpkin seeds. These little skeleton guys will drop you chocolates, lollipops, and orange candy. So you have a chance for one of those three drops. And then same for the pumpkins, except the pumpkins may also also drop you some pumpkin seeds as a bonus. So you can get some pumpkin seeds from those little dudes. Again, I've only gotten pumpkin seeds from them. Um, I'm, I'm sure if, if you've gotten pumpkin seeds, another method outside of these guys and outside of uh, defeating the witch, then let me know. And besides trading, obviously, there's a lot of, see, I just got pumpkin seeds. Outside of those, the only way to get these pumpkin seeds, again, you're gonna get three pumpkin seeds if you kill or defeat the witch. You don't really kill her. I think you just turn her into a rat, right? So you don't really kill her, but you defeat her by turning her into a rat or a mouse. I guess they're mice. Apparently they're mice. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you need to come to this little, little location here. And I'm going to show you how to do it. The rage blade with the aquamarine sword. In case you don't have a rage blade yet, you can use the aquamarine sword. You could probably even use a hammer. I've used a hammer. I didn't really like how it was working, um, but you can use a hammer too. And then I'm going to test out the title. I haven't been able to get the title spell book to work with that, but we're going to test it out as well. But typically if I use the spell book, like, let me show you, this is why I don't really like it. See, look, look at what they do. See how they kind of get stuck upside down and you can't do anything about it. And I think the game game team did that on purpose. I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose. They get like stunned seeing you can't hit them. I think they did this on purpose so you can't auto AFK like that. Look, I'm going to try upstairs as well. I'm going to try up here. Let's check it out. I think they did this on purpose. See, look at it. They get knocked over and you can't fix it. So yeah, so you're going to have to use a melee weapon. What I like to use, obviously the rage blade is going to be king. So if you can use the rage blade, great. That's going to be the best. And first thing you need to do when you get over here, just reset everything. So kill everything that's over here. If you see any enemies over here, just kill them all so that they can get reset. And then once you're done with that, you're going to come over to this corner, right? And you're going to use an auto clicker. So obviously you got to use some kind of auto clicker. As long as you don't like mess up and have too slow of an auto clicker or get crazy lag, you should be fine. So I'm going to go and kill all these real quick just to clear them. I just had to reopen my auto clicker. All right, they're both killed. So I usually stand right here. See this little, this little area right here. You want to stand about right there. And then when they spawn, they should straight come at you. You might have to adjust a little bit. So like just run it for a bit. You might have to adjust your location. So you see how this one's not coming towards me. Got to reset that. It's about like right here. Okay. So rage blade is going to be the best and you can pretty much just AFK like this. So, you know, obviously the pumpkins aren't guaranteed every single time you kill a pumpkin, little pumpkin despacito guy or a pumpkin creeper. So they're not guaranteed, but you can pretty much just do this the entire time. Now, if you have a macro, if you do have a macro, you might want to put a, put it like a little pause in between where you heal yourself, just in case you're going to do like a 12 hour or something, you might want to put an interval that you actually heal yourself. You know, worst case you don't. And and you just sit here for a long time. <laughs> now you can see they, they spawn kind of in the center. Sometimes they do spawn a little, see, I just got another pumpkin seed. So sometimes they do spawn a little far away. Just let them, they're, they're gonna they're gonna roam around for a bit. They eventually come back, but you're pretty much good here. You don't wanna go too far in because if you go too far in, they actually come in like around the corner. So they'll, they'll, they'll like kind of come around here. They'll hit you to the side. So you don't wanna do that. The nice thing about the Rage Blade is it goes so fast that you're not gonna really have many issues. Um, alternatively, if you're worried about the side, you could just use your mouse cursor. So like you could do something 
something on the side like this. So you can put your mouse where you, you think your weakness is. If you didn't know this, the way Islands works for attacks, so like where my mouse is, it actually uses the mouse cursor and the actual like melee area. So where this actually swings, it will actually hit anything that's in front of you and then wherever your mouse is. So if you think, you know, something's gonna come to the side like this, you could do this and that could actually save your back as well. So you could actually go out a little further if you wanted to. So like if you really wanted to test, you can spawn like right here and just leave your, your mouse like you can do something like this. See how I'm like not even facing towards him? And that's just where my mouse is. So you can use your mouse as a secondary weapon location. Hope this makes sense to you. So see how it's just, it's it's hidden him wherever my mouse cursor is. Now, if I move that away, obviously he's gonna hit me. So that's why you gotta have your mouse out there. But also if I didn't even have my mouse there, see how my mouse is far away. So actually it will hit him wherever my mouse is and wherever the sword is. So it works twice. So again, if you have like maybe this side and this side covered, you can use your mouse for one side and this side and the other. And that way you could actually kind of venture out a little deeper like this and that'll work fine by the way i don't know if you knew this but you can actually get red jukeboxes not only from these guys but from the witch so someone actually told me that they killed the witch and they got a jukebox so that's actually pretty cool they got a i think they got a green one so that is the way to afk so you can pretty much leave this like this all night and you'll be able to afk as long as you want you do need to be careful because these guys will explode on you but i you know the great thing about the rage blade is i haven't had to actually do like jumps or anything either so now i'm going to show you i'm going to show you the aqua marine now let's let's show you how well the aquamarine actually works because not everyone's gonna have a rage blade so i'm gonna show you how well the aquamarine actually works so i'm gonna kind of just tilt my character a little to the left and then i'm gonna use my mouse for the right side so what's nice about this is my blade is gonna be hitting anything that comes this side and then my mouse is gonna cover anything that comes on the right we'll just kind of put it like right there and that way we get a wider range here oops looks like he got in too fast he did get a hit on me so we're probably gonna have to back up a little bit so i left this afk grinding with the aquamarine for quite a while you just have to set it up in the correct location just make sure you stand in the right place and you should be good i had some problems with the gilded hammer i'm not sure why but the gilded seemed to lag a little bit more for me i mean you could you could try using that as well obviously it's going to give you a better knockback and it's going to do more damage you don't have as much risk of it taking too long to kill them so you can use that as an alternative but yeah you could just leave it like this and obviously you see the little pumpkin guy in the back he's going to eventually come back up here you could move in kind of just train them all reset them and we just leave the character like right here just remember to use the mouse like a lot of people don't realize they have two locations for their auto clicker so like if you're going to auto click attack you can just make sure and this should work on mobile as well just put your click point right here your auto click area right here so you get the side of you as well and i think the wooden sword's actually better than this let me check i think it gives you better knockback and i think it's faster too let me check let's try that out i'm gonna go ahead and heal real quick let's try the wooden sword real quick and then we're gonna try the hammer as well so here's the wooden sword let's go ahead and try this i think this yeah look how fast it, it actually hits yeah it's so much faster he does actually get to you after a bit though he does actually get to you after a bit now i know there's a method for you can you can actually auto switch you can macro it so you can auto switch and that's totally cool if you want to use that i don't like using it because i usually kill the server so you can actually do and if you want to do a macro i'm only going to show you how to do auto clicking but you could do a macro as well Oof, yes you don't really want to use wooden sword because the pumpkins will explode on you because you're not killing them fast enough so let's go ahead and try this hammer real quick yeah see the hammer's kind of slow i don't i don't really like the hammer so i definitely recommend a rage blade you can also just use the aquamarine i kind of I, I haven't had any problems with the aquamarine i did have some problems over here and it's probably because of the distance between me and the enemies but i haven't had any issues over here with it so you can see it's just it's fine so if you have an aquamarine you know you can always afk leave this running for a few hours come back you know if you're if you're dead it's easy to get here again so you can just rerun it and that's how you do it but yeah ultimately if you want the flawless version it's going to be the rage blade rage blade is going to be king here because it does speed up as it gets hot it gets it's it gets faster and faster on its hits and look at that knockback look at that knockback that is such a good knockback and that way if you get surrounded by a bunch of minions you can just kind of you're knocking them all back so you're not going to get hit way better you could almost put yourself right in the center if the, if it wasn't so risky you could probably put it in the center a lot of people are going to be wanting these candies later including the formulas so you can make you know i would say make maybe 50 percent of your inventory into formula so if you got like you know maybe 300 candies make 50 percent of that like half of that into formulas and just you know keep the rest so keep the candies because they're going to be equally worth things later because people are going to want them in the future just for collectibles because again after november 1st all these items go limited so you're going to want to keep a hold of these and not uh not don't don't eat them all you know don't eat all the candy don't make it all into formulas because people are going to want chocolate bars and stuff it's gonna be cool so i hope you enjoyed the video coming up tomorrow is going to be an updated price guide to show you all the current prices for the halloween update obviously you're going to want to keep an eye on the document because my spreadsheet document that i link in the description of all of my price videos is going to be the most current and most up to date compared to the video because obviously anytime there's an update and i always i always tell everyone this anytime there's a new update prices are always all over the place and they sink fast so and then of course after the update goes
goes away, they're gonna change again. So, you know, and they'll and they'll continue to change every month because the longer they're out, the fewer there are because people do quit games or they take breaks from games. Just like any pet games, like if you play Bubblegum Sim, it's the same kind of thing, right? It's, it gets harder and harder to find stuff. So be sure to watch out for that video and I will see you all next time. Peace.